Hey, this is Ray Ben coming to you live in the real famous comedy store for our last belly room show. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Kill hey, Tony! Hello, hi, welcome. Good evening, and hello, and welcome. The great Brian Redband is here, everybody. We're all settling in. Hello, everyone. Make some noise for the great Pat Reagan you just saw, the band leader. Here on Kill Tony, getting everybody a little riled up. The little Big Dick Small Boss that's on Bad Chat, his new album. Shout out to LA Speedweed. Uh, if you love weed, why not have it delivered directly to you from our friends at LA Speedweed? The great Ryan J. Ebelt is here drawing tonight's episode. This is a human being with a big giant piece of white paper in front of him. He's drawing while you all get to sit there and do nothing like bums the entire episode. All of his prints of each individual episode are available at ryanjebelt.com. He's also the artist that drew the official Kill Tony poster. That's at Tony or at uh, ryanjebelt.com as well. Boom. Um, and uh, I'm on the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour for you podcast listeners, the hundreds of thousands of millions of people out there listening to this show. I'm not touring the entire country. It's called the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour. So I'm going to be in a theater or a rock club near where you live. But back to this awesome live show. Are you guys ready to do this shit tonight or what? Huh? 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 I know I am. I love this fucking show, and this has been over four years of us doing this show in this room, and the last year we've been doing every other show here and the, every other show in the main room, and uh, from now on we are going full-time main room, and we figured for our uh, last spot um, ever in the belly room, the smaller room, why not have our favorite small human of all time on as a guest, an awesome fan of the show. One of our favorite human beings from all of our favorite jackass movies. Put your hands together for Wee Man! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Yeah! Moisturizing the lips with chapstick. Real chapstick, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. This is one of the most powerful intros I've ever seen. I don't know how long he's going to go. Tony uh, is unzipping his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he has another tube of chapstick down there. Uh, what's up, brother? How are you? Welcome to the show. Have a seat. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Motherfucking Wee Man's here, ladies and gentlemen, on the number one live podcast in the world. Our good friend Steve-O was supposed to be joining us, but we got a fun text message from him saying that... He, for a thing he was doing, the type of life that Steve-O lives, he tried to do snow angels on a fire today and came out with fourth degree burns. Look at that, everybody, from our friend Steve-O that was going to be sitting next to Wee Man tonight. Uh, you know what I was thinking is like, he's going in on the worst day for a burn because as soon as he go, goes in, they're going to be like, oh, Greg, what kind of fireworks were you playing with? Right. You know, no, many, I was just doing snow angels on a furnace. How many people are going to be going in in the next day or two for firework burns? Do you think Steve-O just has like a, uh, a bracelet, like a front of the line pass at the hospital? Yeah. <laughs> That's that, right? That's the bracelet. You guys just get to walk right in. You get to kick the ambulance, doors open, and uh, do whatever you want. Um, I'm excited that you're here. You know how the show works. Uh, you've been a, a regular guest numerous times, so um, or I mean, a guest uh, as a, uh, yeah, as the. But this I was, was an audience member. Yeah, yeah, and it yeah. was funny the first time because I was just coming to watch, and then you're like, "Come on," and I'm like, "Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want to put my name in the bucket." I wasn't asking <laughs> you to put your yeah. name in the bucket. <laughs> You got to think bigger, Wee Man. Uh, I wanted you as a guest on the actual show. I can only think as big as I am. <laughs> Five you, inches. One of my favorite. Uh, <laughs> damn. That chap and I that got chapstick, a good tongue, too. That, that chapstick tube extends if you twist the bottom of it, huh? Exactly. Uh, you know what I love about this fucking show as a fan of this show is the band. And uh, let's just bring them out. It's yeah. my favorite thing in the world. They always do different characters or different something special every week. Uh, who knows what it's going to be this week. Put your hands together for the Kill Tony band. They're all here. It's Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. Wow. Oh, is that Abraham Lincoln? That's Abraham. Whoa. Oh, 
my God. <laughs> yes. It's a 4th of July spectacular. We have Abraham Lincoln, what appears to be George Washington, and Pocahontas is here, everybody. How? The fuck did I... Welcome to... <laughs> wow, that almost worked out as good as it did for the actual Indians. <laughs> Abraham motherfucking Lincoln in the house. Yeah, last time you were at a live show, things didn't go so well, huh? There was a man who snuck up behind me and happened to kill me. What he didn't realize was that was part of my plan the whole time. Ah. Oh. Surprise your hat's still all in one piece. You got a new one? <laughs> I do not find that very funny. That was quite the proclamation, sir. Uh, George Washington, how you doing over there? Is it George Washington? I'm George Washington, <laughs> the first president of the United States. Oh, wow. Wow, I didn't realize I was watching a first grade play today. Uh, <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Now, that was funny right there. <laughs> Thank you, Abraham. I kind of feel like a turkey. I don't know why. This makes me, does, you know, you got the Indian there and all that. I feel we got like the, we're gonna turkey. Car, we're going to carve you up right now. Let's do this. Um, uh, you guys know how the show works. I have a jack-o'-lantern courtesy of our friend Ichabod, uh, <laughs> one of our favorite guests of the show. He brought this a few weeks ago, and we changed our bucket. His, he officially signed it. It says Ichabod on the side. The creepiest thing about Ichabod is that his D's and B's are backwards. Um, Anyway, it's filled with people's names that signed up before the show for the opportunity to do 60 seconds on this stage and then talk to us, us, our founding fathers and sisters. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, you know how it works. If I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your time's up and you hear the sound of a kitten. Nope, just the cat part. And uh, that means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. <laughs> There it is. Okie dokie. You guys ready to start this fucking show or what? All the pieces are in place. Your first comedian performing an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight goes by the name of Tommy O'Neill. Tommy. Tommy, Tommy O'Neill. Uh. I mean, there's people going up the stairs, and there's not room for uh, for anyone. Even if anyone was coming, they wouldn't know because there's. I can literally see that nobody can get through there. Is anybody back there named Tommy O'Neill? Oh, okay. I heard the great Aphrodite. Put your hands together for Aphrodite in the back of the room, everybody. Is Shaquille? You can always hear her. You can always hear her. There ain't no Tommy O'Neill. Tony, what about Shaquille O'Neill? Oh, George, I can't believe you've been keeping up on your topical references, uh, George Washington. He'd sure have trouble hiding back there. <laughs> How do you know who Shaquille O'Neal is, George? Have you been alive? Oh, you can ask me that later. <laughs> All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Jessica Jackson. <laughs> This is why we're moving to the bigger room. Because uh, yeah, I, I feel like even if somebody was coming, we wouldn't even know. Aphrodite is standing at the top of the stairs. Look at that black mass just standing there. I, I have Aphrodite, idea. you got to move somewhere, kiddo. You can't stand there. You are the epitome of a fire hazard right now. You are everything a fire marshal hates in life. I, I thought that that was Harriet Tubman up there. Oh, Abraham, your old friend. I have a feeling these two comedians have a fear of little people. That's why uh, they're not coming up to the stage. It might be. Yep. It might be. It's a real thing. It is. Serious. If the third person doesn't come, I'm coming. Wee Man is the first guest that I've pulled out of a bucket before, by the way. <laughs> Fun fact. 
I pulled another name out. It's Ian Russo. Whoa, there he is. Make some noise, Comedy Store. I just flew in from New York, and boy, are you all faggots. <laughs> so a couple years ago, I found myself going through a breakup, and I was at a Hanson concert of all places, getting wasted off of a little something called mm hops. If you don't know what mm hops is, it's not something I made up for the sake of the story. It is a beer that actually exists. I like to believe that the band Hanson was one day, one day tinkering with a beer brewer in, in the garage, and they developed this recipe that was so perfect that they just had to slap the mm hops label on it. And, yeah. The band Hanson, though, like, they were... I don't know if you know this about the band Hanson, but I've had a long musical upbringing. I've seen thousands of punk bands, metal bands, in indie bands... Went through a lengthy ska phase. I'm not proud of it, but it happened. It happened. But the band Hanson, they were the tightest fucking band I've ever seen. Yeah. Wow. Um, all right, Ian, let's talk about it. Come out, call the audience faggots. Check. Uh, <laughs> While sounding like Josh Martin. And then, work out. And work then out. go straight to yeah. Hanson. Yeah, that new Hanson shit. Uh, I don't think anybody's ever really covered this before, especially when Hanson was a band that worked. Three, three minute bit that I tried condensing to. That's want, exactly yeah. what Hanson tried to do, <laughs> ironically enough. Uh, Are they go, all adults now? I think so. <laughs> no, they stay the same age. <laughs> <laughs> He was trying to pick up girls the same age at the show. <laughs> Ian, what's your story, man? What do you, what do you, what do you, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, three years. Three years. Yeah. It sounded like you were almost like about to cry towards the end of that set. No, I am not. Did you notice that? Is that part of your comedic voice? No. Sort, not really. Do you, yeah, sometimes, almost, do you yeah. sometimes almost cry sometimes? Let's just oh, say uh, I wanted him to, mm, stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jeremiah under there, I do believe. I think that might be Jeremiah Watkins underneath that beard. Woo! Okay, yeah. so you've been doing it, the, the, the crying thing. Do you, I want to get back to that serious question. No, my question. nerves got like, yeah, that caught me off guard. What, I, what, yeah. what about, a, why do you yeah. think your nerves started going haywire at about 45, 50 seconds? Because it wasn't going the way you thought it would? Co combination of that. And you think that a lot of these people are wait, like I mean, ready to like really be like Hanson, you know, uh, like they have a strong opinion of Hanson now, more than a, ever perhaps. Not a good time uh, for, yeah, not the room for it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's ironic. I don't I don't think it's the year for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So how long have you been working on this Hanson bit? It's about uh, two months old. Two months yeah. old. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so what do you do for work? I'm a background actor. For yeah. What have you background acted for? God, I've done Modern Family, Bones. Have you? Yeah. The Mindy Project. Say, I've been all say, over. Say Bones again. Bones. Say it again. Bones. Again. Bones. <laughs> I do have a lengthy bones bit, but uh, <laughs> gotta get Josh I think here. I found a loophole with you. I think it's just hilarious if you just say the word bones over and over again. I, I'm the I bones figured, comic. Yeah, you're yeah. Be better that than the Hanson faggot guy comic. <laughs> I mean, you're aggressively. I think anything's. I think there's bones is a good skeleton of an act, <laughs> but not the whole thing. <laughs> It's true. It's true. It could be bad to the bones. It's, it might not be a great idea. Um, what else about you? You do you think do you, when you do your, when you look at yourself in the mirror before you leave, what do you think you look like? I have the best hair in all of Los Angeles County, but due to that and my weirdly shaped face, I look like a milkman from the 1950s. Say bones right now. Say it. Bones. <laughs> All right, all right. Do you have like a one-liner? Do you have like a short joke that you might have anywhere in your pocket? The no pun intended, wee man. I'm sorry. No. Literally, do you have a short joke? 
I want, may I may be new in town. Wait, 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 wait. I want you to do the joke and then pretend like I'm not. Pre- everybody in the audience, plug your ears. <laughs> after you, after you do the joke, say bones afterwards. <laughs> okay, do it. I may be new in town, but I'm so LA. Even my pants are sag. Bones. <laughs> <laughs> This is like when Gallagher found a watermelon. Uh, I mean, w- what's happening right here is fitting because it's Kill Tony history, Ian. Or like when the white man found America. <laughs> wow. There she goes, Jocahontas, everybody. Uh, Tony, can we get Josh up here to say bones with him? <laughs> Josh, yeah, hey. we got a bones in the back. Yeah, there's a uh, yep, a lot of bones going on. Bo 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 bones. Ian, I'm gonna ask you a question Shoot. here. <laughs> All right, don't don't don't. We don't. <laughs> bones, bo bones, 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 <laughs> like that. You loop him going. Bo 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 bones. Maybe it's like bone 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 bone. Well, I mean, that's a little sexier than what I was thinking. It's Bone Thugs and Harmony Crossroads. I was thinking. Yeah. You know, you know, Tony, it's about time the founding father, George Washington, threw the show back over to Tony Hinchcliffe. Oh, I think you could have done it without even having to say that. Uh, I just would have, had you not said anything, I just would have kept going. But it is an honor to have George Washington and Abraham Lincoln here because I figured at the, as far as I knew, at the level of decomposition that you guys should be at at this point, I thought that at this point you would just be a pile of bones. No, see, you can't, I don't want you to try to say it cool. You fucking say it like you say it like somebody asked you, what are you a background actor on? Bones. You're still, now you're fucking it up, Ian. Even you're wrecking this word. Uh, You had it just right before. You can't try. Bones. (laughs) There you go. That's good. All right, Ian. Well, there's no bones about it. Uh, You are a one-trick pony, and you should ride that out into the sunset, my friend. If I ever stumble across you doing a show and you're not saying bones every few seconds, I'm going to be furious because none of the the other stuff you have going on is ever going to work. If that's the minute that you picked, you tried to condense three into one, a Hanson. Yeah. Does the faggot thing ever? Like, is it like, oh, he's... That's really new. I was in New York last week, and I thought of that when I landed. Did that happen because they called you a faggot? Or you thought of it there? I uh, thought of it there. It was only like my third or fourth time telling it. It landed really well last night and here for show up, go up. Out of all the things you've been a background actor in, what's your favorite thing? Bones. (laughs) Bones. <laughs> there he goes, Ian Russo, everybody. Speaking of bones, I go back to the bucket that Ichabod brought to us a couple weeks ago. You guys ready to bring up another comedian? I guess not. <laughs> Put your hands together for Derek Gruber. <laughs> Uh, I live in Anaheim, uh, home of Disneyland, and this past Christmas, I was stopped at a red light in my neighborhood, and I was first in line, right by the crosswalk, and I see this guy carrying this big white sign with big red letters, and it said, Ho Ho Homeless. I don't have anything against homeless people, like, I was almost homeless last summer. Uh, my, my buddy, I lost my job, my buddy let me stay at his house for a couple of months to figure it out, and he lived by the beach, and he had this bike, and every morning I'd ride along the beach and think about my next move. And there was this homeless woman, and she, every morning she was smiling, carrying her luggage. And one day we started talking, and she started telling me about all the positives of being homeless. And that's when I thought, like, if I really needed to, like, I could date a homeless chick. Like, the best part about dating a homeless chick is you can drop her off anywhere. <laughs> that's my time. Thank you. All right, Derek Gruber. Derek, into the microphone. Oh, sorry. Say bones. <laughs> bones. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait for it to get good and quiet again. <laughs> Say it again. 
bones. Do you guys hear what I'm talking about? Is it a thing? Does everybody have like a slight lisp in this bucket tonight? There's a little magic going on. This is the special short tongue episode of uh, Kill Tony. You have a little lisp, huh? Yeah. Short tongue is my father's name. <laughs> Joel Berg. Joel Berg. There he is in the flesh. <laughs> So Derek, uh, what's the deal? How long have you been doing stand up? Um, Tell the truth. Like four years, literally though. Really? Like, I was on. I was on like I think maybe like the second or third Kill Tony ever. Yeah, it was wow. Earl Skakel and I think Jeremiah. That was many moons ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, so how did it go that time? It was bad. <laughs> How bad was it? it? It was, I don't know. What happened during Like, it? I did a hacky, like, I've only been doing it for, like, two or three months. No, yeah, I know. You just did it again tonight, by the way. <laughs> uh, that drop a homeless woman off anywhere thing is, like, a regular. That's, like, a very normal. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, like, a literally, literally, truly one of the oldest jokes oh, anywhere. Okay. All right. Um, I, I, did I was actually very disappointed that you as an audience laughed. I got angry <laughs> at you. I got angrier at you for laughing at it. Like, that's like a thing you haven't heard before more than I'm even mad at him for not knowing that it's a thing. I'm judging you guys tonight. It's a special flip the script episode of Kill Tony. Yeah. Where we give you guys notes on how to be a better audience. I, I actually told that joke in the Gettysburg Address. <laughs> I fucking love you so much. Oh, my God. Derek, what do you do for a living? How do you make money? I, uh, what uh, what uh, skateboard shop do you work at? <laughs> I work at Target unloading trucks. I you guess. unload awesome. trucks at Target? Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of interesting shit that goes on there, obviously. Like what? Um, just the people. Like what? Um, Don't beat around the bush. <laughs> Tell us the story. Yeah. You're not really hitting the target here at all. Um, I don't like targets. <laughs> <laughs> so you unload trucks. How long have you lived in L.A.? Um, I've been in Orange County like uh, for 10 years. 10 years. Where are you originally from? From Ohio. What part? Um, like outside of Dayton. Oh, okay. But, have uh, you how, long, how, long, how long have you been working at Target? Um, like a year and a half or so. Like, I just do it because, like, um, I can still, like, go to Mike's and stuff during the day because it's at 3.30 at night. So I can – I do that for, like, four hours, and I'm off at 7.30. And then what do the you morning. do? <laughs> Smoke a lot of weed, try to write non-hacky Do jokes. you have roommates? Um, no, actually. I live um, – He's I'm almost a... homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I can drop myself anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you ever hook up with a chick in the dressing room at Target? Oh shit, no. You have a your own dressing room at Target? No, but Target's <laughs> have dressing rooms. <laughs> no, that's just you, dude. That's when you go to a Target. They make you a special thing. Not everybody oh, has now that. It's special. Oh, I mean. Oh. Wow. Well, I mean. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> um. So no, literally, Derek. What what do you do after that? I understand smoking pot. That's not really a thing. What else do you do? Yeah, I mean, um, I hope. And wait, wait, wait. What do you mean you live by yourself? Hold on, go, go. I answer in, that. I live. Um, my great aunt. She didn't have any kids. You and... call that living? <laughs> <laughs> and um... <laughs> you, your great aunt didn't have any kids. Yeah. Um, I live in her house. She doesn't want to sell her house yet, and. Uh... So you live with your aunt? No, she's at an assisted living place right now. Do you ever visit her? Yeah, absolutely. How often? Uh, I visited her yesterday. She fell and broke her hip like three weeks ago, unfortunately. She's 97 years old. Wow. Oh. So what's going to happen to that house when she dies? I don't know. I mean, maybe uh, maybe I'll blow it up. You know, Maybe I'll become like a meth, a meth head. And Wait, I'll, did I'll you just up. try to be funny again? Yeah. What did I tell you about this? <laughs> 
Never <laughs> try to be funny. <laughs> That's a hot tip from George Washington, <gasps> the first president <laughs> of the United States. <laughs> I have a question regarding is, your great aunt. Is he a pull did, string? <laughs> did your great aunt have wooden teeth? That's my question from George Washington, the first president of the United States. He's on the. <laughs> That's my president, Patty Reagan, right there. <laughs> Did your great aunt have wooden teeth? Um, no, she didn't. She was born in 1919, though. I don't know. If <laughs> wow. Uh. That's easy. That must be easy for you to remember when you're breaking into her credit account. <laughs> what are your goals, Derek? How, do, how old are you? 34. 34, living in the dying aunt's mansion. Uh, she doesn't even know. Yeah, she, she has even, no idea. She, uh, she broke her hip. Uh, she <laughs> fell off the unloading dock at a Target. Uh, really random thing. I moved in. Uh, He's a squatter, pretty much. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the target's a cover up. It is. How old are you? It's all roofs, 34. 34. 34. So what do you, what are your what are your goals? Just trying to trying to do stand up. I went to grad school. It sucked. What'd you go to grad school for? I know it wasn't speech. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What a burn! The guy has a lisp. You got him, Tony. <laughs> What'd you, I'm enhancing your joke. I'm over here. Hanson. I've yeah. already. <laughs> uh, wait. What was? What'd you study? Uh, political science. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Political science is one of the few majors in which we get to hear your lisp twice in the same word. Uh, what's your love life like, Derek? It's, um, it's not great. I mean... He's trying to fuck <laughs> homeless chicks. What do you think <laughs> his love life is like? I mean, how much more down in the gutter? Bro, I'm tired. I don't have enough money to go to the bar. This chick needs like 50 cents and she's cool. I'm cool with her. Get her a soda. I'm fucking anything. Is that how it works? Um, yeah, unfortunately. He what? hit the nail right on the head. No, I don't know. I just, I'm not making that much money. I don't. So the last chick you hooked up with, how long ago was that? Um, about three hours ago. What? Which, is this someone that you hook I, up with often? Yeah, it's like a friend with benefit. Like, like I, she's here. Wow, you no. wait! I gotta see the chick you're poking. Yeah, you wait. say it like you want to bring her on stage bring right her now. On st <laughs> no, no, iron I like ironically, like I don't think she would get upset with me saying like I was like thinking of that homeless bit, and like she drives Lyft and Uber, uh, and like she's kind of homeless now. And I guess. and you, it's uh, very weird. Abraham. And you give her a sandwich and she has sex with you? <laughs> is that is that the friend with benefits spot? <laughs> I have sandwiches, you have sex, let's trade. She 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 takes out a gun and aims shoots him, but it hits you instead. It hits Lincoln. Another good one another good one by George Washington, the first president of the United States. Um <laughs> Husband to Martha. <laughs> So this, uh, so this girl that's here, is she a comedian? No, but she's funny. I tell her to... Oh, like you know what's <laughs> funny, Derek. Uh, we know your eye for talent. Um, so, Derek, how do you know her? Where'd you meet her? At, at Target. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> she works at Target, too? I yeah, yep. Man. Yep, she's Target wow. How Unlo is she almost homeless? She has, like, three jobs. Uh Target, Uber, and Lyft. <laughs> that's, that's basically one job we man. Uh, on her way to Target, she picks people up. And it's Target employees. They're like, yo, just give me a ride. <laughs> so you met her at Target. Did you guys ever hook up at Target when working um, a little bit? Um, No. Come on, tell the truth, Derek. I no, see you doing your little fucking smile. There's cameras everywhere. I'm, I, I follow the rules. Did, so, Would you ever put one in the stinking and two in the Lincoln? <laughs> Wow. So funny. First time you guys hooked up, it was right after work. You asked her, how does that go down? How do you pick up a check? Um, I just had a roof over my head, and I was like... Uh, Did you build it with Lincoln Logs? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
a roof over your head. What does that even mean? Well, you know, I mean, when you have a roof over your head, you go into the kill. <laughs> well, they do sell tents at Target. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say we Uber over to a field? <laughs> do they sell teepees there? <laughs> wow. Why is Pocahontas topless? <laughs> <laughs> there are two mosquito bites that seem wow. to have landed on the chest. <laughs> Pocahontas, you are slutting it up tonight. Look at those, <laughs> look at those purple nips hanging out. Uh, yeah. It look, it looks She's like Pocahontas has been eating too much buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Pocahontas, man, Mike, this is fun. All right, so Derek, all right, I'm gonna. She looks more disgusting than Mary Todd Lincoln. All right, Derek. I wish you the best of luck in all your endeavors, and uh, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. There you go. There it goes. I saw a little high five from Abraham Lincoln to, to Derek on his way off. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Chaz Carter. <laughs> Yo, what's up? You guys, I need a car. I need a car because I'm tired of commuting and I keep having all these horrible interactions with homeless people. I had a homeless guy walk up to me the other day and he was like, nigger Christmas. And I was like, the proper term is Kwanzaa, but you have a nice day, sir. You know what I'm saying? I was walking through my neighborhood and I was mistaken for a teenager by a local sex offender. The only reason I knew he was a, t was a sex offender because he kept asking me questions about my mom's work schedule. Uh, I mean, I should have been disgusted, but that shit did wonders for my self-esteem, you guys. Uh, but in his defense, like, my wardrobe doesn't help. Like, I walk around dressed like a buff 13-year-old. Like, I look like I could be a stand-in for the black kid from Stranger Things. Shit's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, man. I think that's it. I'm good. I'm tapping out. <laughs> Chaz Carter tapping out at 50 seconds. All right, Chaz. That's all I worked on. I was like, if I get called up, it's a hot 50, and I'm cool with it. A lot of short sets. Didn't yeah, you man. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Short sets. It's true. Um, Chaz, what up? why are you dressed like you work out at a playground? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Did you chin-ups on the mean... monkey bars? Yeah, man, I've been, I've, been, I've been physically active since I was like a kid and shit, man. Really? Yeah, I came out of the womb buff. Is that true? No, nah, no, it's not true. Well, I like working <laughs> out at the playgrounds, you know? I <laughs> just like hanging out. Just, nah, man, I don't like kids. Is there anything you'd like to say to uh, <laughs> What's up? Is there anything you'd like to say to this gentleman right over here? Ooh. Jazz, can what? I just say I'm a big fan of your people. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very, very... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ab Abraham be fucking. Oh, Ooh, shit, hats yo. off to you, Abraham. Yeah. <laughs> Abraham, uh, have you ever been with a man before? Sexually, Abraham Lincoln? Only in the foxholes. <laughs> <laughs> Chaz, what's your story, man? How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, I'm coming up on a year next month. What you, and again, what do you do? You don't have uh, a car? Is that true? No, I really don't have a car. Have you, when's the last time you had a car? Have you ever had a car? Yeah, I did, but like years when I first moved to LA. Like, How long ago was that? Like over five years ago. Where'd you move from? Florida. What part? Uh, Tampa. Oof! Yikes! How, <laughs> How long have you been? Supposed to be. <laughs> How long have you been teaching Zumba? Zumba. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lay it on me. <laughs> Whatever. Chaz, big, how, big did, fan, how does it fan. how does it feel to be in the exact same weight class as Wee Man? <laughs> it feels good, man. I'm representing for the little niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, they're called people. They're called people. <laughs> you can't use the M word. 
<laughs> Wait, I thought you were going to say, okay, I got it. All right. Chaz. Like how much uncomfortable laughing is going on right now. <laughs> Very comfortable. Very comfortable. <laughs> Thanks, Abraham. <laughs> I was not planning on coming up today. <laughs> Why do people say that? Because it doesn't I make sign sense. up all the time and I never get called up, so I was just kind of like put it on my head. You know what I'm saying? And then when he called me, it just kind of threw me off. Why right. do you want to come up today? Because he's taking a break from being in his Prince cover band. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Tony, purple Stain. Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony. <laughs> 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 you do sort of have a naturally uncomfortable sounding laugh. Yeah. yeah. Ha ha ha. <laughs> ha. <laughs> Funny. Ha. Chaz. So, man, is Chaz your real name? No, my first name is Sanchez. Sanchez? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You're much Wait, cleaner man. than I thought you'd yeah. be. <laughs> Wait, <Wampa. laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> is it Sanchez or yeah. Sanchez? Sanchez, yeah. Uh, oh, Chaz is short for now. Sanchez. Yeah. Why do you have a last name as a first name? And uh, a first name is a last name. Sanchez Carter is I don't know, name? man. My mom. Carter Sanchez my, makes I'm sense. I'm half Latino. My dad's Hispanic, so I feel like, I don't know, my mom's trying to honor those roots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pocahontas put her top back on. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Chaz, what's your love life like? What are you into? Uh, I'm single as fuck. What? Are you almost homeless too? No, nah, no, nah, I'm not homeless. Okay. Almost homeless. No, not, not even almost. Okay. No, I'm so cool. you're into dollar bills? No, uh, what? <laughs> single as. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's <was> pretty corny. <laughs> did I find out what you did for work? No, no, you didn't ask. What is it? No, I. <laughs> corn. That's a stoner crowd uh, right there. That's a full stoner crowd. You get the delayed laugh. Um, I I work at. Corny? I have two jobs. I work at a coffee oh. bar and I do catering. When I'm not you were <laughs> I just got it, yeah. <laughs> Corny because she <laughs> brings corn to like Thanksgiving or something like that. Okay. Trade. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. For wait, wait, wait. Trade. It's actually blue corn. But, uh, <laughs> for trade. <laughs> stupid troll. <laughs> it's actually blue corn. Uh, we're circling around this joke so much, I feel like I'm in a maze. Oh. <laughs> Is Abraham Lincoln get caught in mazes a lot? I don't no, get it. That's a tribe. Whoa, whoa. It's oh, corn. it's a type of corn. corn Motherfucker. Tony? Wow. What the f you are. Uh, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> you are a general in the battlefield, Mr. Lincoln, but you are definitely a colonel when it comes to these corn jokes. Uh, actually, Never no. was a general. Yeah, I was just going to say George Washington was the general. But then we actually would have worked better. But right? people laugh. At yeah, it's true. It doesn't make sense. With confidence. Exactly. <laughs> it's true. They're not really looking at the scientific backing of the joke. It's like, well, I don't think he was actually a general. He was more of a uh, understudy. <laughs> and that's why Donald Trump is president. Yes, that, that's exactly why he's the president. Um, <laughs> Chaz, so uh, you've been working at a coffee bar? What does yeah. that mean? Is that a cooler way of saying that you're a barista? Is this called? Did, is this yeah. is this well, the, is the, this bar that you hang out at called Starbucks? <laughs> nah, man. What is it? Uh, it's, uh, it's a place called Brew. I'm gonna speak with. Brew. Yeah, it's set hipster. Up, hipster. It's set, yeah, it's hipster as fuck. It's set up. It's set up like a bar, like when you walk in and shit. So it, like it's it's like upscale and shit. Oh, it's, it is. It's yeah. as fuck. Let me get a double latte. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you get a double latte, we man, did they still give it to you in the espresso mug? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, and you know what? I always order the tall one. <laughs> we man, is your favorite rapper too short? Fuck, <laughs> 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 man. Actually, yes. How long have you been working at uh, the coffee shop? 
about two years now. And what's the other thing you said you do for I do work? Catering on the side. I make I make white people feel special at their weddings. Yeah. Hey. Whoa, whoa! How do you make white people feel special? Like I get, bring them their drinks when they want it. I tell them they look good when they don't. I fucking like. That's uh, how you make everybody feel yeah. special. <laughs> I like help set up the wedding and shit, and like I. Oh, that yeah. seems like something you'd be good at. Yeah, really? Yeah, Why? you seem like you have like the little firecracker wedding planner thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm bossy as fuck, so yeah, it naturally comes to me. Just huh. telling, like, delegating shit. So you just did a snapping thing yeah. with your hand for the podcast listeners. Yeah, I did, did it. So there is some there. <laughs> 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 there okay. I'm really high. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's okay, Chaz. Okay. <laughs> there he goes, Chaz Carter, everybody. He's on Twitter at scarter 727 Derek Gruber is Gruber Sanchez. Derek. Ian Russo is Ian Russo Comedy. It's all happening. I'm excited. You guys having fun out there? I see some stars hanging around. There's Mystery Dan on the staircase. If you've ever wondered what that creepy motherfucker looks like, there it is right there. Taking a break from playing the uh, organ inside of a furnace somewhere to uh, <laughs> be here. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Jihan Sabir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up? You guys, that was my best comedy friend you just saw. Um, what am I going to talk about? Just kidding. Um, <laughs> you guys, do you want to know how to make a black person have an existential crisis? Just deny them lotion when they're ashy. Um, that shit is stressful as fuck. And white people never have lotion in their bag. Like, ever. You know, I feel like when I'm ashy, it makes me desperate and a little violent. I feel like it's the only thing that can make me turn back into a slave. You know, I'm like, oh, Massa, oh, Massa, please don't let me go out with these ashy knees. I'll do anything for some Avino, Massa. I think people think there's a lot of violence in the black community because of drugs and poverty, when really it's just a bunch of ashy ass niggas looking for lotion. You know, what I'm saying is ashy lives matter, you guys. They matter. <laughs> There you go, Jihan Sabir. I've I've never experienced an ashy person. Really? I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure your friend Steve-O, who tried to do a snow angel on a fire today, is a little bit yeah, ashy right now. He's pretty scabby. Yeah. Oh, ashy. Jihan, Jihan. Steve looks a little ashy. Jihan, Jihan, you did. Aren't aren't you precious? You have amazing. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Jihan, going back to something we talked about earlier. Have you ever stayed at your great aunt's house? Because I believe Jemima would have. Uh... Aunt Jemima? No, nothing? I didn't quite say that correctly, huh? All I actually right. have stayed at my grand great aunt's place. Thanks. Oh, you guys call it aunts. That's right. Oh, uh, well, we really call it aunts. You people. Really, we call it auntie. What'd you say? Aunt? Who's you guys? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you people. You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to all be Americans today. Exactly. So, I was freed. Go so ahead. when you go to the hotel and there's like that yes, little lotion was. that's for black people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've I mean, always wondered. I thought it was just masturbation. I didn't that's know it's just I black used people. It for, yeah. <laughs> I went swimming uh, today at my friend's house, and there was a black girl who also swam, and I will say this. This happened today. Um, I had a, a nice face lotion um, that I have. I have a good face lotion that I like to use. It's SPF, and it's for uh, people that uh, It's are... called jizz. <laughs> oh, thanks, Abraham. Real smart Abraham Lincoln. 16th president of the United States of America, a real fucking emancipation proclamation, grown up leader of the free world, guy that solved all the civil war shit and freed the slaves, real smart. Yeah, my lotion's jizz, you piece of shit. Yeah, that's the expensive lotion. Listen, That's what I use is normal free jizz. 
That come funny, come, come out of come out of men's ball sacks. Oh my god. That's anyway, funny. uh so <laughs> I, I was I was still, I was using this lotion and uh she goes, Oh, you got lotion? Can I use some of that lotion? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and she goes, so For my feet. Exactly. And I go, What'd Fuck you no, you can't use this lotion <laughs> on your feet. <laughs> this shit is a hundred dollars a jar and it's not going anywhere. I wouldn't put it on my fucking feet. It's you're face a, lotion. You're a lotionist. I know. Oh my hey, god. Hey, how much is this lotion you're talking about? It's like uh, probably seventy bucks for a little. Se seventy bucks. Yeah. Bruh. Wow. Your face not that precious. No wow. shit. Wow. <laughs> okay, wow. Jihan. Okay, Jihan. <laughs> Jihan, like, you have amazing hair. Oh my god! Thank you so much. You have good hair. You're not bad yourself. Oh, Whoa. oh shit! Oh. I've never seen somebody be able to do a live upskirt before, but I think this shit's about to go down. I'm pretty sure Wee Man is one jump away from being deep inside of you. Well, I do eat my tacos standing up. Oh. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> and, and, it, and if there's anybody that's been up here tonight that loves a taco stand, it's clearly Jihan. So. Uh, I'm not gonna deny that. <laughs> oh, your face ain't that precious. <laughs> I wouldn't even have gone there, Jihan. <laughs> no, you really are an awesome bundle of charisma. Um, what else do you do in life, like for fun and everything like that? Um, I take care of white kids. Uh, Ooh. I try to instill in them as much black knowledge as possible. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> like, you, are you ever like, all right, well, here you go, kid. Like, this is like, uh, this is chew trains. <laughs> I did That's a uh, black culture joke about how two chains is a person and it's white kids, so you have choo choo trains. I made a choo trains, two chains <laughs> joke that you guys um, wanted to pretend wasn't brilliant. Listen, just to let you know. You can never make that joke twice about teaching white kids black culture choo trains, you pieces of shit. And you missed it. If like you, peasants. Uh, and you laughed at the fucking drop the homeless girl thing off anywhere? Oh my pieces god. Pieces of shit. If you have to explain it that deep... No, I know, Jihan. I'm yeah, hosting okay. the show. It's cool, a live cool, thing. Cool, I do cool, it every cool. week. Anyway, uh... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what else do you do for fun? Take um, care of white kids. What's fun, though? What do you do for fun? Kids. You ever go roller skating? <laughs> no. I used to rollerblade, like, as a kid. Uh -huh. And shit. What's but, something about you that you think is sort of weird that you do that you don't want anybody else to sort of know that you wish you wouldn't have mentioned on a podcast? Um, I used to turn like millennium rap songs into opera songs. Can you give us a little example of uh, turning a, a rap millennial rap song into an opera song? Just to give give us one little note or something. Uh, okay. Gator boots with the pent out Gucci suits. Ain't got no job that I say fly. Oh, that's very cool. I like that. From the Waffle House to the Opera House, I can see it. Fuck you, waffles are tasty. <laughs> now that is a play that I would see. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. What else has been going on in life, Jihan? Everything else fun? What's your love life like? Uh, you still, you still been, uh, you still been uh, banging former first presidents of the United States of America? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Can you imagine? I, I was going to say, I remember hearing just fucking white dudes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's hope for you. Oh. Was, would you would hope? You... I was already in. <laughs> hope. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can you imagine if I got a splinter in my pussy? That would be terrible. Are you talking about the time George Washington went down on you with his wooden <laughs> teeth? Oh. He did it again. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that was just plain brilliant, right? There. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> okay. And now, George, how was the sex? I've heard that you cannot tell a lie. 
<laughs> he changed that night. I'm pretty sure it was a very revolutionary experience for him. <laughs> the British were coming. The British were coming. <laughs> oh, my God. It's great. Gave her a little bit of your John Hancock, huh? <laughs> Oh, He's, really speechless. For an He's speechless. He's speechless. <laughs> you went over the Bill of Rights and the Bill of Wrongs. <laughs> Show some respect for this uh, Blackfeet uh, sis sister. Wait, <laughs> what just happened? Black well, well, all right. Let, okay. Blackfeet <laughs> is a type of Indian, right? Native American. Native American. I don't want letters. <laughs> Joel. <laughs> The band, the band does not endorse what, what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a type of Native American. I guess we all forgot. It doesn't help when you get angry after. <laughs> what? All right. Awesome. Jihan, you are so lovely. You're so much fun. Uh, it was uh, such a pleasure to have you on the show again. Thanks for coming Don't on. Forget there, my Twitter. Yeah. Jihan Sabir, everybody. She's on Twitter at Jihan. Is that a dot? Dot Sabir? Jihan dot Sabir. J I H A N dot S A B I R. Follow Jihan. Uh huh. You guys having fun out there or what? You guys are getting to see George Washington and Abraham Lincoln in one of the oldest comedy clubs in the world. Put your hands together for Danny Williams. Danny Williams. He's coming, he's coming. They say he's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I didn't know I was coming up here. Um, <laughs> what are we doing? A minute? All right. I live in Los Feliz. This is the whitest neighborhood in L.A. <laughs> like, this is how my white my neighborhood is. I was walking down the street. I was walking a fucking dog. And my neighbor was coming up the street texting on her phone. And she had on a t-shirt that said hashtag BLM, which stands for Black Lives Matter. And then she saw me and just freaked the fuck out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how white my neighborhood is. Like, Black Lives Matter, but just on the internet. Like, <laughs> like not in real life. <laughs> All right, I'll do one more quick joke. Um, all right, this is the dumbest joke I know. Um, I was <laughs> I got lost one day. I was using GPS, and is <laughs> not I couldn't find my way. And I asked this dude. I said, "Hey, where's 7-Eleven? Because GPS is not telling me where it is on the street." And he said, "Yo, it's right down the street." All right, you can finish it. Go. Oh, but dude only had half a finger. <laughs> so I didn't know if this shit was all the way down the street. <laughs> Danny Williams. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Laying it down. You did it again. You've been on the show before. Yeah. What did we find out about you again? Um, I talk really slow. You talk really slow. And I sell wheelchairs to handicapped people. You sell wheelchairs to handicapped people. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good uh, market to be selling wheelchairs to. <laughs> uh, if you were selling wheelchairs to unhandicapped people, that would sort of just be fucked up. That would just mean I was a really good salesman. Yeah. <laughs> True. How long have you been slinging wheelchairs for? Uh, I've been working for like seven years. Seven years? Man, yeah. you're really on a roll with that whole fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Dumb. Really stupid. <laughs> Don't clap at that, sir. That wasn't that good. It should have been the other things that were all smart that you guys made noise for. Um, so, Danny, yeah. what is... How long have you been doing stand-up? Oh, five years. Five years. Yeah. You do a lot of spots? Yeah, I try to get up like two times a night. What are your hours like from the wheelchair thing? I work from 6 in the morning until about 6 in the afternoon. 6 in the afternoon. Yeah. 6 isn't even in the afternoon, my friend. 
That's the evening. Well, right it's now, six in the morning to six right in the evening. Right now, the sun is still out, so it's afternoon. <laughs> no, that's whoa, not how whoa, it works. Whoa, the sun's coming out now? No, the sun is no. still out. Oh, still it's called out. called evening. Yeah, yeah this is yeah. nine twelve in the afternoon, everybody. <laughs> uh, perfect. I go to bed at 10 in the afternoon. <laughs> I guess technically any time afternoon is afternoon, <laughs> yeah. technically, if we really want to pretty Before much. Midnight. Yeah, all the way up until 11.59 a.m. That could still be <laughs> afternoon. afternoon. Yeah, still afternoon. No, 11 p.m. 9 a.m. is before noon. Well, it's, uh, there's no before noon. There's only afternoon the day before. Oh. What if afternoon didn't even <laughs> Yeah, we just... Somebody... All of our pot-smoking fans listening to this podcast just had half a stroke yeah. right then. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> Flat earthers. <laughs> there's no afternoon. Dude, it's always the afternoon, whether it's morning, noon, or night, bro. <laughs> I heard it on an episode of Kill Tony. That's where I get all my fucking stuff from. That's where I make serious life decisions is from listening to that show. So, so you work 12 hours a day. I mean, do you do that all, all week long? I mean, yeah, I do that. He does it all afternoon. That's... No, I take... <laughs> <laughs> no, I try to work short hours on Monday so I can come here. And then during the week, I try to make enough money... To just it's a completely sales base. I mean, like, like. Yeah. Do you only get like, uh, commission. yeah, commission you get commission. Base. No, I work on the back end. So I work. Ooh, on the wheel. Oh. Like Damn. that's the poopy part. Is it easy to get the back end of a handicapped person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Grab him by the diaper. You know, like my my whole job is trying to convince an insurance company that somebody needs a wheelchair. Wow. Yeah, so is it look, man. Oh, so you're uh -huh. raping so, the man. So all of a sudden you go, <laughs> oh, man, I just don't know where my state farm agent is. And then he pops up right in front of you. And you're like, hey, this fucking guy over here, look at him. He's got rotten, no, my, my rotten, whole, rotten legs. No, my whole th <laughs> They're rotting. They're rotting. I, look at this. Smell his, smell his legs. It's normally people with no legs. This is rotten legs and smell his legs both... <laughs> relatives of mine. <laughs> Pocahontas can't put the feet together. Yeah. <laughs> Joel's jokes don't have legs tonight. Uh, <laughs> man, so what's your like? Do you, but do you, is there anyone ever ca that comes in there like with no legs? They sort of just like crawling in, right? You hear the like little bells on the door, like ting to ting ting, and all of a sudden. You see someone crawling in, right? And they're like, I really need your help. I don't know why they would have an English accent, but I really need your help. I have no fucking legs. I know you only talk to insurance people. What can you do for me? What would you say? Make an appointment. Oh, <laughs> shit. He would make them crawl back later. Can't deal with you now. Crawl back later. <laughs> they had a right there. <laughs> Smile now. Crawl back later. <laughs> wow. That was a... When, when you make the same joke twice, is that called a uh, crawlback? Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, wow. You, so you don't even ever sell directly to someone. No, I just make sure we get money. That's it. Oh. So you get most of your money from the insurance people. And you yeah. talk to them all sm slow and smooth on the phone like your normal cadence? I send a lot of emails with... Oh, a lot of emails and stuff. <laughs> What do you what do you mean? You, uh, I just send a lot of emails. It's, it's mostly like, emails, not ta emails. talking no, on the I phone. <laughs> Abraham, are you mocking this man that you helped free? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering if he gets more Washingtons or Lincolns. <laughs> Jesus, Joel, what is going on? I'm can having somebody, a stroke right now. Can I, somebody uh, put some super glue on Joel's uh, drum seat? <laughs> yeah, who's got it, you fucks? <laughs> yeah, you don't have any super complete, glue, you fucks. Complete heel turn. <laughs> fucks have any super glue. <laughs> George Washington. What? Stand, oh, yeah, standing what, strong. Tony, what? Standing what? strong. What? Oh, my God. What is that? How's that happening? Mm. Anyway, so, all right, Danny, how, what's your lovemaking situation like? You seem like you'd be incredible at it. No, <laughs> He's rolling through the limpies. What, what the, the hell kind oh. of a question is that, Tony? <laughs> I mean, he's You look like an incredible lover. 
Hey, I think these people agree with me. I'm all right. I'm, you, kinda, I'm single. I'm, I think I've been single for like two weeks. Single for two weeks. Yeah. The last girl you hooked up with, what was that like? Was that a random hookup, like a one-night stand or no, something like I that? I met her in like public and shit. Met her in public? Where'd, yeah. you, meet, where'd, where'd you meet her at? It's a bar. What bar? I, I don't Doesn't say. matter. Yeah. Okay. And then did you, go back to, did you go back to did you go back to your place or her place? No, I I live with my sister, so I, I just went in my car. Oh, you took her to your car. Yeah. Were you sitting in the driver's seat and she was in the passenger seat? No, I drive a hatchback, so we just fold that shit down. Wow. Yeah. Efficiency. I guess so. Wow. Um so you are Right. So, but still, she's. Are you both in the back seat then? Is that what you're saying? When you're fucking, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how yeah, it works. I think it's not that big. It's a hatchback. <laughs> yeah, it's a hatchback. It's like a station wagon, but like a mini station wagon. Yeah. Oh. It's a bitch ass station wagon. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, you seen a hatchback? So yeah. you you go to the bar. You're parked outside of the bar. You take the girl back in it. Do you go straight to the back seat? With no, her? we went on like dates and shit before. Oh. We started fucking in my car like well that's interesting I because took her places we went to like dinner <laughs> wow i didn't realize that was a thing take a girl to dinner and then fuck her yeah, in a no, car afterwards I uh i didn't realize you had to work your way up to fucking in a no, car I, I, I took her to buffalo wild wings and she wanted oh now it makes sense okay perfect <laughs> took her to buffalo wild thing yeah you got, point for it. buffalo <laughs> So then you're in the back seat, the pops top, somewhere in Los Feliz, there's just you. No, I don't fuck by my neighborhood. We oh. fuck by the Buffalo Wild Wings. Like, oh. Yeah, no. Wild night indeed. Yeah. So Did you take a wet nap home just because you knew that was going to happen? I like, keep, <laughs> good I question. Keep, I keep him in the armrest. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, gross. I want to ride home with Sticky Dick. <laughs> you know, the good thing about having sex in a car is you can drive away. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings. You take a lot of girls places. That, that's where she wanted to go. That's where she wanted to go. Yeah. And little did she know, her, her night. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll just do a chicken noise instead. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. So Danny, I guess what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to figure out is like, th is there anything special you do when you're making love to a woman that you think is uh, different no, than? No, I just come home and go to bed. Do you ever whisper anything in their ear with your cool, slow-paced voice? Do you ever say anything I cool? I just say, "I'm done." And wow, <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I'm done. Done. Get the wet naps out of the side. <laughs> Man, all right, Danny. Well, it was uh, fun to have you on again. There he goes, Danny Williams. Everybody, he's on Twitter. At trunk underscore liquor, L I Q U O R. Trunk underscore liquor. Josh, can I get a ginger beer? Josh. Ginger beer. Where Josh, is Josh? Maybe fix the sound. Josh, maybe fix the sound. Anybody know where Josh is? Huh. Nope. <laughs> hey. I pulled a name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Quentin Thomas, everyone. So uh, as I get older, I'm finding new reasons to hate people. Like, uh, I'm starting to hate people who bring up my height the second time we meet, you know? Because, like, it's always the same conversation. It's like, oh, do you play basketball? Like, yeah, dude. Uh, I'm in the NBA, and I moonlight as an Uber driver. It's just my thing. <laughs> it's like, it's just, it just gets boring because it's always, like, the same conversation. Like, I just wish once someone would be like, hey, uh, how many stretch marks do you have on your back from growing 10 inches in five months? <laughs> It's like a lot. It's really gross. Like, my back looks like someone else's height chart, to give you perspective. Um, guys can be perverts. I think we can all agree about this. Guys can be kind of perverts. I think the perfect example of this is like every time there's this news story, local teacher sleeps with 12-year-old student. There's always that one guy like, man, where are all those teachers when I was in middle school? <laughs> Which is crazy because like girls don't do that. Girls don't see an Amber Alert and are like, Man, where are all the guys in early 2000 model Toyotas when I was seven? <laughs> all right, my name's Quentin Thomas. Thank you, guys. Yes, 57 seconds from Quentin Thomas. Oh, awesome. 
you are funnier than a fourth grader, Quentin. Thank um, you. You okay. are a giant, uh, for your podcast listeners, he looks like a giant little boy. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask. You're like, when I in my old age, you're starting to, you look like you're We 17. look like we should probably switch faces so our bodies would make sense. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That does make sense. There we go. <laughs> wow. But we definitely don't want to trade wieners. I like mine closer to my knee. <laughs> <laughs> now, Quentin, you look like an incredible lover. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any? Thank you, hot? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Actually, quite the opposite. I got Quentin on premature ejaculator for a thousand <laughs> bucks. I almost undoubtedly am i close to right on that uh the last two times i've had sex i didn't come so i don't know what that means. wow <laughs> why was was it, was, was, it, was it because it was with a woman yeah was it a dude <laughs> i'm gay that is the joke yeah no yeah no i think i just it's had too much clear. to drink and one of them was in a car so that, that doesn't work for me oh you Were clearly you don't a, have a uh what's his name's car? yeah i mean that guy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> danny williams wasn't able to make you come I told he's really uh, bad at sucking dick. I'll tell you. I that. told you they <laughs> met in trunks. Uh, 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 I'm done. <laughs> Man, the last two times you haven't come, has yeah. it been with the same girl both times? No. Damn. So you think it's because you were drinking so much? Uh, it's called whiskey dick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or I, I would put more of my money on just like bad at fucking. Really? Yeah. We call it fire Ladies. water. Dick. <laughs> fire water. <laughs> Why, why if you're why it's a question from George Washington. Yes. <laughs> why if you're a smart man are you bad at fucking? Good question, George. Not really much to it. I don't I don't I don't do it often, so I just don't have the experience, I think. Is it the confidence is what is the issue? I don't know, man. Like <laughs> you, let's just be I don't know why I don't come. Let's what just... George is trying to say is what's wrong with your dick? <laughs> I've been asking myself that a long time, a long time. I mean, let's just keep it real, Quentin. When does it, when do you notice that, like, when you're hooking up with these chicks, when do you notice that it's not going well? Like, is there any point where you do get hard and then you lose it? Or yeah, something it's like usually that? I start off, I start off strong and then it just kind of fades away. You get tired. You have bad cardio. Oh yeah, I'm in terrible it, shape. Really? Yeah. Is that true? Yes. How old are you again? Twenty-three. Why are you in such bad shape? You look like you played a seventh-grade basketball game today. <laughs> I did. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't take, I don't, I focus on my mental health, not my physical health. So she was on top, you're on bottom. Wait, you or, focus on your mental health so yeah. well that you're too drunk to be able to come? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. No, that has also something to do with it, probably. Right. But, 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 this is weird. I didn't know, it's like, okay. a thousand people were going to listen to how bad I am at sex. No, it's tonight. many, 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 many <laughs> more than thousands of people. Uh, Quentin. Let me ask you this. So, What's up? And yeah, you're just a guest on a podcast now. We're all hanging out. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> do you do anything when you when that doesn't go that way for you, and the girl's like, "Hey, what's up?" Like, what do you do? You do anything to overcompensate? Do you ple make sure that you please them? Yeah, I do that before I take care of myself, obviously. Yeah, you ever like punch her in the face? <laughs> Talk all sorts of shit. <gasps> yeah, you ever do that? I don't do that, no. no. I've Should never, no, it's been the other way around. Can, can I, you've gotten that punched. That was weird for you guys. You've gotten me. punched? Yeah, yeah. It, while being made love to? No, no. Oh. Can, After they're like, that was terrible. Really? No, no. Oh. Can I give you? Joke. Can I give you a tip to come in the bedroom? Please. Yeah. Abraham, yes. Please. Abraham Lincoln's about to tell Quentin how to uh, bust a nut. Now, sometimes whenever you're having sex with a woman, the physical element is just not there. She gets your engines revved, but only to a point. So what you need to do is think about something that's very erotic. Like sometimes what I do is whenever I'm making love to a woman, I think real hard and then and then I think about the civil rights, and then I'm like, civil rights! <laughs> and, and before you know it, uh, my my pants my pants are, are, are filled with with, <laughs> with boy fishes. <laughs> boy fishes. Boy fishes. Abraham Lincoln. 
You mean your pants, <laughs> by the time you know it, your pants are filled with my face lotion. Because it's jizz, remember that, Abraham? I use jizz as face lotion? You child, you bearded child. I'm going to cut out you just saying, I use jizz as face lotion on this podcast. <laughs> and that's going to be your new ringtone. Wait. Abra Abraham Lincoln. I'm glad that it's going to be my ringtone because I'm never calling you again. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln and Quentin look pretty yeah, similar. Yeah, it's like a Babraham Lincoln Babraham right here. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> it's our founding fathers and founding grandson. <laughs> All right. Quentin, do you have any special skills or talents or anything like that? Definitely not fucking. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Um, I, I know this isn't good for a podcast, but I can do this weird thing with my stomach. What can you do? Sold. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do right. with your stomach? I'll show. I'll show. Show I'll us. Demonstrate. <laughs> What the fuck was that? I don't know. <laughs> For the podcast listeners, he just stuck out his stomach. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the answer to my question, do you have any special skills or talents, was no, by the way. <laughs> well, I can lift up my shirt and pretend like I'm doing something. It's pretty special if you ask me. <laughs> really? Do, do you ever do that when you're not coming? <laughs> the answer is no, so yes, I just came. <laughs> oh man alright Quentin well right. anything else for Quentin Wee Man no we're in two different hemispheres <laughs> <laughs> Josh Ginger Beer oh yeah can you have a Ginger Beer Josh Martin running around everybody Josh Martin comic right. there he goes Quentin Thomas right. everyone he's on Twitter at Quentin Jokes all one word Q U E N T I N. Before we go back to the bucket again, uh, let's get our one and only regular up here. She writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. She's a goddamn fucking sensation. You know her. You love her. It's the Kill Tony regular, Ali Makovsky. Uh. Thank you. Thanks. I uh, I keep getting friend zoned um, by my haircut. I got sexually assaulted on my skateboard the other day. <laughs> I was on Hollywood Boulevard and this guy was trying to get out of my way and he just decided to stop me by grabbing my tits. And at first I was like, you know, it was a mistake. He was just in my way. And then I realized I wasn't even moving. I like doing this, doing a minute every week is fun. People always tell me it's such a great opportunity, you learn so much, but I've never learned anything by doing it one minute every week. You never hear someone going to the gym and being like, I went for a minute, I can't wait to see what happens next week. <laughs> the number one gym in all of <laughs> the world or whatever. <laughs> there you go, another new minute from Ali McCoskey. I think wow, you're... okay. <laughs> I think your haircut's sexy on you. Oh my Ooh. god, thank you. Wow. wow. Damn. Okay. Everybody, yeah. I love that. Is that a uh alright. Um nothing. Allie. So how's um how's life been going? Life's what? been great. It's been happening. I'm so happy. I'm just like living my best life. Um <laughs> I'm just like swimming a lot and uh H have you have you seen any good uh, motion pictures recently? Uh, yeah, I did. What was the name? I saw Baby Driver. Oh, okay. I saw a great movie recently called Captain America: Civil War. <laughs> you really, you really saw that movie? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you I like see it at? What? Where'd you see it at? Oh, uh, you know, an AMC. 
<laughs> Not a general cinema? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Um, so, Allie, what else has been happening? You've been swimming a lot. Clearly, it's a July 4th weekend. You're a California girl. Yeah, yeah. You got the buzz cut. Swimming a lot, you say? Yeah, good enough. Uh -huh. I like good. I like the summer because uh, I don't really have to shower. I just need to find people with pools. Wow, that sounds like uh, something a kindergartner would draw on construction paper. Are you me uh, like the summer? Not have to shower, <laughs> swim pools. Are there you <laughs> almost homeless? No. Oh, okay. No. no, she's just disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've never really. I, I was beating around the bush on that one, if you know what I mean. Old chowder puss? <laughs> they call me Honest Abe. <laughs> yeah, you beat around her bush. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> George Washington, wait, wait, by wait, the way. Wait, wait, wait. George Washington, by the way, is turning into Beethoven more and more by every ticking second. <laughs> What's that, Tony? I can't hear you. Ha <laughs> ha ha. Beethoven's death. <laughs> Do the drapes match the curtains? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. it, it somehow it turned into, it went from the Founding Fathers to uh, Beethoven and Mat Mattis Yahoo real quick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Musical <laughs> guest. All right, uh, Allie, we're going to try to get one more person yeah, up here. Right. Another great minute. There she is, Allie Mikofsky, everybody. <laughs> Magical Allie Mac on all social media platforms. One word, Magical Allie Mac. Magic Alley Mac? Magic Alley Mac. All one word. What's M magical? M A C, right? <laughs> What's magical? Magical. Alley magical. <laughs> I pulled another name out of the bucket. You guys ready for one last comedian here tonight, huh? Let's see what happens. Here's, put your hands together for Ray Easter. How you guys doing? All right. I uh, so I live in a uh, Korea town. Uh, I had this like older white lady um, come up to me and ask me, "Oh, you're a, you live in Korea town? Does mean you're like part Korean too?" Like what an idiot would say. Uh, and I was like, "No, ma'am. Uh, I actually couldn't find a place in um, in Nigga Town that was uh, <laughs> quite my price range." She was like, "Oh, you mean Inglewood?" I'm like, "Yeah, Inglewood." So, <laughs> Uh, you guys heard a lot of N words tonight. There's a lot of black comments that said nigga a lot. Uh, I love saying it. Um, gets me out of the jam sometimes. Uh, like I actually just uh, used it to uh, win a Scrabble game. It's <laughs> playing against a white guy too, so it was like fucking sweet justice. And I was like, and he was freaking. I was like, what man? You can't use that word. I'm like, no, you can't use that word. <laughs> but I think I've earned the right. All right, that's my time, guys. Thank you very much. There he is, Ray Easter. <laughs> Ray Easter. How's it going, man? What's going on? Is this man? your first time on the show? No, third. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remind us of, uh, what do we know about you? Uh, you work? DC, I uh, do Postmates, WAG, oh, yeah. um, so I don't have a job, pretty much. Uh, Ray Easter, George Washington here with a question. Yeah. When you come, does it take three days to come again? And you say, he is risen? It's because his last name's Easter. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Ray Easter? No, if that answers your question. Ray Easter? <laughs> George Washington Please. here. No, I got that. From no before. further questions. Okay, thank you. Wow. <laughs> Sounded like he got a little drunk there as the show went on there at the end. Further <laughs> uh, questions. Oh. So, Ray, uh, so. what's the most uh, interesting thing about you other than uh, anything uh, that you talked about here tonight Jesus in real life? Christ, like, what the, what life. do you have going on? Anything fun? What do you do for fun? Hobby? Hobby? Um, I just fucking work and do stand-up. What else? Then that's it. You must do something else. I don't. You must sleep, do something else. Sleep, eat. I mean, that basic bullshit. What do you do when you're falling asleep? You just lay there like this? <laughs> what do you do when you're falling asleep? I lay there like this. 
Tony, Tony, yeah. do you know why he just works and does stand up? This is calling from George Washington, yes, first president of the United States. No, I don't know why. Uh, well, because it takes so long to get sets out here, so you can spend six, seven hours in a night to get in w w even one set. You'd be like, oh, I'll try to get three sets in tonight, and then you spend seven hours out. And you only get one or two sets. So, so that's that's it's it's a it's an incredibly it's an incredible grind just to Thank try you. to wow. get on stage. That was the first thing that actually made sense tonight. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, that. yeah. Thank well, you. I'm on a different wavelength, you know. I, no, I get that. that was very yeah, deep. Yeah, yeah. When they told me pot was legalized in Washington, I didn't know that's what they meant exactly. <laughs> um. <laughs> Ray Easter, your yeah. name, your family has the last name of a uh, of a of holiday. A holiday, yeah. Yeah. Um, has that ever affected you in a weird way? Going through no, life? there's. Uh, I heard there was a another comic out here with the same last name, so I haven't found him yet. But kill him, to... yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> kill the man. Yes, I was going there. I was I'm fucking stabbing when I see him. Have you ever told the chick, "All right, here comes the Easter Bunny, <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate"? Sad, Easter sad to sad to admit, but yes. <laughs> you have? I have. Yes. yes. What's that is awesome. Move, but... You're a Postmates driver. What's your least favorite place to uh, pick up from? Is there a place that you Fucking hate? In downtown LA. <laughs> just it's the whole city? Just Egg Slut? No, that downtown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Egg Slut. Uh, downtown. <laughs> to me. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, a lot of fucking <laughs> crazy people. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Ray, what's the most interesting thing that's happened to you this year? Anything? Wait, is in the it world? this year? Ah! 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 It, it might be. I think it is. I think it is. So wow. Is, so is that? There he goes. <laughs> Beethoven, so ladies that? and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was it now. I thought so Beethoven I was, was a dog. All right, Ray. Well, we have that to end was, the show. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. There All goes right, Ray Easter, right. everybody. He's on Twitter at Ray Easter Comedy. This is tonight's drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt. Those prints are available at RyanJEbelt.com. So is the Kill Tony poster. I'm on the Monster Energy Outbreak Tour for the next three months, basically. I'm touring continuously. But in the month of August, it is the real Monster Energy Outbreak Tour. I go all around the country, traveling around with me. The one and only Abraham motherfucking Lincoln, Jeremiah Watkins, is going to be with me. 20-some different cities in the month of August. It's going to be an absolute blast. Uh, motherfucking Wee Man was with us tonight, everybody. Come on. This is our last show in the belly room. We've been here for four years. Did you have fun? I had a blast. We man, we got to get you back on again soon. I would love to be back on. I love it. I love it. Well, we love having you. Make some noise one more time for the great Wee Man, everybody. <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins, what else are you plugging? This is the busiest man I know. Uh, just reach out to me on social media at Jeremiah Stand Up and come to the Stand Up on the Spot every second Tuesday of the month here at the Comedy Store. There he is, uh, motherfucking uh, Patty Reagan, the band leader, creator of Bad Chad. Anything else, Pat? Joel Jimenez is on Twitter at mostly sorry, and uh, that's. I don't a... get to give my Twitter. Oh my... yeah, you can. Just I am Wee Man at all the feeds. Wee I Man. Yeah, we I everybody Wee Man. everybody knows that though. If they just type in Wee Man. Uh, well, I don't know. You could get some fake one, like some funny <laughs> comedian, some boner guys, Brad dude or something. You, you're I am Wee Man. <laughs> yeah. I am Wee Man on all <laughs> platforms. Make sure you follow him. He's hanging out here with us most Mondays. You. We love you. Love Brian you. Redman, get us out of here. Uh, Live audience, thank Alaska, you so much. Alaska, this weekend. Get well, Steve-O. We love you. Four years in this room, our last belly room show. We'll see you on the patio. And you watch your line. The red, white, tan, black, yellow, or brown. It really doesn't matter. We can all get down and do what we like. And do what we like. From a pink skin Yankee to a blue black southerner, ditch digger or governor, just do what you like. Look how you like. Now don't you know we're getting busy? We can't be corrected. Shake that, have to be deaf. I say what I like. Like I said, so